lift, Lord, have I lifted up my soul. O oh my God, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be put to shame, nor let mine enemies laugh me to scorn. Yea, let none that wait on thee be put to shame. Let them be ashamed, which are lawless without a cause. Make thy ways, O Lord, known unto me, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art God my Savior. For on thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. The sins of my youth and my ignorance sins remember not. According to thy mercy, remember thou me. For the sake of thy goodness, O Lord, good and upright is the Lord. Therefore will he set a law for them that sin in the way. He will guide the meek in judgment. He will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth. Unto them that seek after his covenant and his testimonies for the sake of thy name, O Lord, be gracious unto my sin, for it is great. Who is a man that feareth the Lord? He will set him a law in the way which, which he hath chosen. His soul shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of them that fear him, and his covenant shall be manifested unto them. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he it is that will draw my feet out of the snare. Look upon me and have mercy on me, for I am one only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied. Bring me out from my necessities. Behold my loveliness and my toil, and forgive all my sins. Look upon mine enemies, for they are multiplied. With an unjust hatred have they hated me. Keep my soul and rescue me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have hoped in thee. The innocent and upright have cleaved unto me. For I have waited on thee, O Lord. Redeem me, real, O God, out of all his afflictions. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions. Blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth. The hidden and secret things of thy wisdom hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop and thou shalt be made clean. Thou shalt wash me and thou shalt be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways. The ways of the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness, O Lord. Thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I have given it. With whole burnt offerings, thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humble, God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the wall of Jerusalem be built. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altars. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. By thy cross thou didst destroy death, for the thief thou didst, didst open paradise. For the myrrh bearers thou didst change weeping into joy. And thou didst command thy disciples, O Christ our God, to proclaim that thou art risen granting the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Today Alaska rejoices, America celebrates for the new world has, has been sanctified by martyrdom. Kodiak echoes with psalms of thanksgiving. Heliamna and Kenai observe the festival of faith. The apostle and martyr Juvenali is glorified and Peter the Aleut is exalted by his voluntary sacrifice. In their devotion and love, for the Lord, they willingly endured persecution and death for the truth. Now in the kingdom of heaven, they intercede for our souls. Now and ever into ages of ages, amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine, who has put forth the fruit of life. We entreat thee, O sovereign lady, intercede together with the holy apostles, that he may be merciful to our souls. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall press, press along the way. Our God is a God of salvation. Holy God, Almighty, Holy Mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, to ages of ages. Amen. 
O oh, Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, cleanse us from our sins, O oh, Master, pardon our transgressions, O oh, Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Today, Balaam joins Alaska in celebrating this joyous feast, and her spiritual son, Juvenile, embraces the new martyr Peter with love. Together they suffered for the Lord in America and united the old world with the new by their voluntary sacrifice. Now forever they stand before the King of glory and intercede for our souls. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at every season, every hour in heaven on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who loves the just and shows mercy upon the sinner, who lost all to, all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds. Deliver us from all tribulations, evil, and distress. Compass us about with thy holy angels, that guided and guarded by them, we may attain to the unity of the faith, and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For thou art blessed into ages of ages, amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into ages of ages, amen. More honorable than the cherubim, more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption, thou givest birth to God the Word. Truth they are to us, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. O Master God, Almighty Father, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and O Holy Spirit, the one Godhead and one power, have mercy on me, a sinner, and by the judgments which thou hast established, save me, thine unworthy servant, for thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down in every affliction. Thou hast delivered me, and mine eye hath looked down upon mine enemies. Give ear, O God, unto my prayer, and disdain none my supplication. Attend unto me, and hear me. I was grieved in my meditation, and I was troubled at the voice of the enemy, and at the oppression of the sinner. Because they have turned iniquity upon me, and with wrath were they angry against me. My heart is troubled within me, and the terror of death has fallen upon me. Fear and trembling have come upon me, and darkness hath covered me. And I said, Who will give me wings like a dove, and I will fly and be at rest? Lord, I have fled afar off, and have dwelt in the wilderness. I waited for God that saveth me from pain heartedness and from tempest. Plunge them into the depths, O Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen iniquity and gain, saying in the city, Day and night they go round about upon her walls, and equity and toil and unrighteousness are in the midst of her, and usury and deceit have not departed from her streets. For if mine enemy hath reviled me, I might have endured it. And if he that hateth me had spoken boastful words against me, I might have hid myself from him. But thou wert was, a man of like soul with me, my guide and my familiar friend. In the house of God I walk with thee in the morning. Evening, morning, noonday, will I tell of it and will declare it, and he will hear my voice. He will redeem my soul in peace from them that draw nigh unto me, for they among many were with me. God will hear, and he will humble them, he that is before the ages. For to them there is no requital, because they have not feared God. He has stretched forth his hand in retribution. They have defied his covenant. They were scattered by the wrath of his countenance, and their hearts are convened. Their words are smoother than oil, and yet they are dots. Cast thy care upon the Lord, and he will nourish thee. He will never permit the righteous to be shaken. For thou, O God, shalt bring those men down to the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. But as for me, O Lord, I will hope in thee. He that dwelleth in the help of the Most High shall abide in the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say unto the Lord, Thou art my helper and my refuge. He is my God, and I will hope in him. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunters and from every troubling work. With his shoulders will he overshadow thee, and under his wings shalt thou have hope. With his shield will his truth encompass thee. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. 
nor for the thing that walketh in darkness, nor for the mishap and demon of noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but unto thee shall it not come nigh. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and thou shalt see the reward of sinners, for thou, O Lord, art my old thou madest the most high thy refuge. No evil shall come nigh thee, and no spirit shall draw nigh unto thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. On their hands shall they bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. Upon the ass and basilisk shalt thou tread, and thou shalt trample upon the lion and dragon. For he has set his hope on me, and I will deliver him. I will shelter him, because he hath known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hearken unto him. I am with him in affliction, and I will rescue him, and glorify him. With length of days will I satisfy him, and I will show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. By thy cross thou didst destroy death to the thief thou didst open paradise. For the myrrh bearers thou didst change weeping into joy. And thou didst command thy disciples of Christ God to proclaim that thou art risen, granting the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> o bright lamps of the new world, and treasures of the church of the, in America, the Alaskan shores rejoice in thy memory, O Juvenali, and the city of San Francisco honors thee, O Peter. For by your precious blood, our, O martyrs of the Lord, the inhabitants of this land have been sanctified. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. As we have no boldness on account of the multitude of our sins, O Virgin Theotokos, intercede with him who was born of thee. For much more is the prayer of our mother able to incline the master into kind-heartedness. Despise not the supplications of sinners, O all pure one, for merciful and strong to save is he who condescended to suffer for us. Let the compassions quickly go before us, O Lord, for we have become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O all holy trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Death can no longer hold men captive, for Christ ascended, shattering and destroying its powers. Hell is bound, while the prophets rejoice and cry. The Savior has come to those in faith. Enter you faithful into the resurrection. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 who love us to just and show us mercy upon the sinner, who call us to all salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds. Deliver us from all tribulations, evil and distress. Compass us about for thy holy angels that guide and guard for them. We may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine own. For thou art Lord, Father of us. And now, not only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus of darkness, do thou the same, Lord, who lovest mankind, receive also these saints given in fervent prayers of the sinners, and deliver us from every 
to seek and guided by thee in the light, beholding thee the light ineffable and everlasting, we may ascribe unto thee ceaseless confession and thanksgiving, unto the unoriginate Father, together with thine only begotten Son, and an all holy good and life creating spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
But in all things we commend ourselves as the ministers of God, in much patience, in tribulations, and necessities, and distresses, in strifes, and imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, and keeping vigils, and fasting, by charity, by knowledge, by all suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Spirit, by the love of fame, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the right, the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by honor and sorrow, by evil reward and good reward, as deceivers and yet true, as unknown and yet unknown, as dying and behold we live, as chasing and yet not killed, as sorrowful and yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing he also called, whom he called, him he also justified, and whom he justified, him he also glorified. What then shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare even his own son, but delivered him up for us, for us all. How hath he God also forgiven and freely given us all things? Who shall bring the charge against the elect of God? It is God that justifies. Who is he that shall condemn? It is Christ Jesus that died, furthermore that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God? Who also makes intercession for us? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress, or persecution or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or the soul? As it is written, for thy sake we are put to death all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. But in all these things we are known, because of him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor all things, nor principalities, nor sin, nor no strife.
follow him. The Lord said, but before all these things, they will lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and prisons. You will be brought before kings and rulers for my sake, but it will turn out for you as an occasion for testimony. <coughs> Therefore, settle it in your hearts not to meditate before by your patience possess your soul. Peace to the new proclaim of the Holy Ghost. right, he would go away. 
Um, if I told him what I thought he wanted to hear, he would say, oh, well, good, good, that's good. You're on my team. If I answered the question the way I did, well, anyways, it incurred more questions, and then eventually the conversation got frustrated as, as I continued to say, well, I just believe what the early church believed. And, um, and your belief didn't exist until 1830, and so we're just... <laughs> believe what the early church believed. I know uh, we were on a different belief. We weren't talking about the King James anymore. Anyway, so I'm sure that was frustrating for him. That's an example of a technique approach. A technique approach might be handing kick tracks out at the, at the grocery store, which I had received at a grocery store. Walking up to somebody, uh, this has happened to me more than once, where they come up to me and said, do you love Jesus? Again, if I give the right answer, they'll go away because they don't really care. If I give the wrong answer, I have to um, be accosted with a discussion about how my faith may be different than theirs. That's the sign of a technique because it reduces you. It's not, it's not something that is really taking in your full humanity. And our whole culture works this way with advertising. I mean, it's all demographic driven and you know, you plant your church here, you say these right words, you do these right things and voila, the right people will get connected. But that's a very surface approach to life. We don't date that way. We don't grow in our friendships that way through techniques. Techniques are just quick fixes that aren't really relational. And in the Orthodox Church, evangelism is relational. It's relational in the sense that we want and we love people. Now, you might be stepping back. Father Theophon said that we love people, but I don't love people. Well, as Christians, we're meant to care about all of society and all of the people around us. It's not just for us to come here and receive the love of God, communion, our good feelings, and our connections here, but we're actually called to go out and bring this out to other people because Christ didn't die just for us. He died for the life of the world. And we are sometimes his hands, his feet, and his mouth out to this world and so, yes, at some level, we're called to love outside of our community and to seek the, um, the love of God that people would experience that who aren't in the church. So it's relational. Let me give you a few concrete examples of what you can do to help you be a better relational evangelist. Some of these are so basic that you're going to say, well, that's ridiculous. The first thing is, is that you need to live the faith. In other words, you say you believe this, but it behooves you to live the life of a Christian. That does mean a certainly going to church. Importantly, it also means making your church, your home, a holy place. It means living as a Christian within your relationships, which means repenting, which means praying, which means knowing the scriptures. Why would I be drawn to your faith if you don't know anything about it and you don't practice it? What's so exciting about all these things orthodoxy teaches if no one is living it? And if I don't want to be around them, because they're jerks. We don't want people to reject Christ because we're jerks. So ultimately, we have to try and pursue the faith, actually live it, and have it transform us, and have us pursue, take up our cross, as I said last week, and follow Christ, as Jesus said. So we have to live it. We have to know what we believe. We have to pray. The rest is just life. You know, if you're living your faith, 
If you're practicing your faith, then when you're around people, they'll notice. They will notice by your behavior. They will notice by your inner disposition. Okay, more concrete. Pray for people. Be quick to pray for people. Pray for people maybe more than you talk to them about God. This is one of the, I don't know where the quote comes from, but it was a, a quote about parenting. Pray for your children more than you talk to, uh, talk to them about God. Prayer is the grease that transforms the heart, that helps people come to Christ. And so before we talk to people, we need to pray for them. And we don't even need to talk to them half the time. We just need to pray for them, that we see them, that we see their humanity, that we want them to be forgiven, that we want them to find Christ, that we want them to find healing. These very concrete, live a Christian life, pray for them. Let your prayers always be on your lips for people who don't know Christ. They need your prayers. And when you're praying for somebody, it's harder to try to be a technique-oriented person with them. When you're praying for somebody, you humanize them. You make them more of what they actually are as human beings, rather than just, you know, a notch on your belt if they become Christian at some time. Those are two concrete things. Another thing, invite them to church. Invite them to church because... Most of all, people are lonely out there and they need relationships. They need, most everybody, whether they believe it or not, needs a community. And the priest can't answer all the questions, you can't answer all the questions. But there's something about the relationships within a holy community that help people spiritually connect and help people grow. And of course, the goal of this is to encounter Christ. They can encounter Christ in a community. There's three concrete suggestions. One, live the Christian life so people, the best you can, repent, pray, be a good Christian. No problem. Go out into the world and pray for people. And if you have an opportunity, invite people to church to experience a broader Christian community where hopefully the rest of us are living and doing the same things. Now, we have today is the New Martyrs of Alaska um, uh, uh, feast day celebration. Um, and there's two particular martyrs that are, are mentioned, um, are highlighted on this feast day. One is the higher martyr Juvenali, who St. Herman records as being so zealous to share the word of God. Uh, who went around essentially preaching uh, to the native Alaskans and at one time had baptisms of up to 700 people when they heard his words. Eventually, um, it's said that he was killed. And there's a mix of stories, but in one story that he was a spear and he was dying, but he went back to the people who were killing him and said, and prayed for them and said to them, please repent, repent, you know. In other words, he manifested his Christian love for them even though they were killing him. And that is his example. The other example is uh, Peter the Aleut, who, um, who died also a, a, a horrible martyrdom, a, a torturous martyrdom in uh, was it in, in California? This is just from his example, and he says, you know, uh, in his icon that he could not deny his faith because he was being asked to not deny his faith. This is the final thing. If we are living Christian lives, if we are uh, inviting people to our church, if we're praying for people, if we're really serious about this, we will be persecuted. Not only will we be persecuted, some, we may be condemned, we may die. It, 
this is the story of evangelism around the world historically is that the church grows where the martyrs have been killed. So, as we continue on on this feast day, may our Lord give us the, the strength to pursue the Christian life. May he give us the heart to love and pray for others. And may he give us the confidence to invite people to church. And most of all, may he give us the ability to look at people as human beings so that we can encounter them as persons and so that when they encounter us, they can encounter Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Christ is in our midst. He is in our shadow.
up, glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
You and all Orthodox Christians may the Lord God remember to sing always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. May the Lord God remember to sing always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages.
Spirit be with all of you. And with thy spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is and right. Give bless thee to praise thee to give thanks to thee and to worship thee in every place of thy dominion. For thou art God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, and eternally the same. Thou and thine only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit. Thou it was who brought us from non existence into being. And when we had fallen away, didst raise us up again, and didst not cease to do all things till thou hast brought us up to heaven, and hast endowed us with the kingdom which is to come. For all these things we give thanks to thee and thine only begotten Son and to thy Holy Spirit. For all the things of which we know and of which we know not. And for all the benefits bestowed upon us, whether manifest or unseen. And we thank thee for this liturgy which thou hast deigned to accept at our hand. Though there stand beside thee thousands of archangels and hosts of angels, the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged many eyes, who soar aloft born on their pinions. Sing in the triumphant hymn. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. With these blessed powers of master, love us mankind, we also cry aloud and say, Holy art thou, and all holy thou, and thine only begotten Son, and thy Holy Spirit. Holy art thou, and all holy and magnificent is thy glory, who has so loved the world as to give thine only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life, who when he had come and fulfilled all the dispensation for us in the night in which he was given up, or rather gave himself up for the life of the world, drink of it all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sin remembering the saving commandment and all those things which have come to pass for us, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second and glorious coming, offering unto thee thine own of thine own, on behalf of all and for all. Remember his beata 
gratitude to our Metropolitan Seacon, His Eminence, our Archbishop Alexander, Grand Dam for the Holy Church, and peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days. Write thee to divide the word of thy truth. And With one mouth and one heart, we may glorify and praise thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with thy spirit. His divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Thank you. 
him through his grace and love for mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, God, our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. May he who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the prayers of his most dear mother, of the holy and all lovable apostles and saint, innocent and page of this community, of the holy heart of martyr, Juvenal, and of the martyr, Peter Ali, the, uh, the Aliyah, whom we commemorate today, of the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and love us and kind. Good morning, Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be. Uh, today, just a few announcements we have. Um, First of all, our typical Tuesday Zoom book club at 7 p.m. Uh, this week we'll have Vespers on Wednesday and then 9 a.m. Divine Liturgy on Thursday. Um, and uh, uniquely this week um, and once a month, we're going to be doing a, a class on basic spirituality at Warner Robins. It'll be hosted at the Olson's house. If you need their address, um, please look on Realm or you can reach out to me and I can get it to you. Uh, and that will start at 6 p.m. and there'll be um, light sort of refreshments after about an hour long of a class and a discussion. Next Sunday is Family Church School and so uh, it's a good Sunday to be here. Every Sunday is a good Sunday to be here. Um, save the dates. Uh, as you know, we'll be celebrating with Bishop Garossum, who will be here on the 8th, and so please invite people, encourage them to come, and um, one of the reasons why we try to do it on a particular <coughs> Sunday, because technically every Sunday is a Sunday a visitor can come, is because I've noticed in the past that some people feel more comfortable if they know, if they know that there's going to be a group of people like them here, and so um, that's one of the things I tell people, like, look, there's going to be another, there's going to be at least a couple of other people there that are visiting that have never been in the Orthodox Church, so you won't be alone. Um, it can be very intimidating, so please do encourage and invite people, and hopefully, uh, and also we have a sign-up genius for um, the fellowship hour that day, which has been sent out, um, and all, any and all help is appreciated. Is there anybody here that is celebrating their names, their birthday. I think Marie and Miss James here, I don't know. Christiane, I got you. And Colin. Well, Deacon Columba is not here for peace in there. <laughs> Grant to Lord a prosperous and peaceful life, all salvation and hastening. In all things to the servant of God, the deacon Columba, to Marie, and to <clears throat> and to yes, that's right, Scipion, and preserve them, O Lord, for many years. God. Is the attitude the most blessed? 